Today I want to talk about Ebby's Tapaz. Many of you have probably recognized that name. Back in October 2015, Ebby Stepach, she's 18, she went missing. And it would take almost three years before her remains were found inside a drainage part, pipe at Chalamont Park in Little Rock, Arkansas. Now since the discovery of her body, I've been waiting for someone to be arrested or at least a name a person of interest, but there's been nothing. And then this morning I saw that a woman's body was found in Little Rock and I began to wonder, it reminded me of Ebby, and I began to wonder how many others have gone missing or have been found deceased since the disappearance of Ebby. I mean, is there is it still ongoing or was it with just Ebby that, that was murdered, I wanted to know more. So I went to Namus.gov and there are 69 missing from Pulaski County. Now, which includes Little Rock and North Little Rock. I found a total of 67, okay? Now these cases were from 1985 to 2019 and there were 35 females. And I was concentrating, remember, on just those that have gone missing since Ebby went missing in 2015. So with that, that left me with eight cases. And four of them were teens and four were 33 plus. And those adults were Lemetria Smith, 42, Kenitha Cambambia, 47, Cassandra Gonzalez, and then Evelyn Young Cosi, 57. You know, all in all, there's not many cases. Although you could argue one case is too many. So I looked at the unidentified persons that had been found and I wanted to see what they came up with. But first I went through the news clippings and I found six cases for 2018 to 2019. And I know that not all deceased people are put in the media, but this is what I found. And I didn't find anything for 17 or 16 or 15, but anyway, on October 13th, 2019, a dead body was found bound with a rope in the wooded area near 6400 Colonel Glen in Little Rock, Arkansas. Now, the police say they believe it was a suicide, but the body was bound with a rope. I don't know how bound, but it was bound with a rope. Now, I'm confused. I don't know how that could be, but until I hear different, I'm leaving this one on the list. All right, then we go to October 6, 2019. A body was found east of I-440 near the intersection of Falker Lake Road and Sand River Road in Little Rock. Now, the police state had been there for several weeks and later identified the person as Chelsea Elizabeth Smith, 30, of Cabot. Now, there was no sounds of foul play, say the police, but the matter of death hasn't been decided by the coroner yet. And this one also, I'm just going to keep it on the list until we hear some kind of update on that one. And then on September 15, 2019, the woman's body was found on the side of the road near 10424 Republic Lane in Little Rock, Arkansas. Now, she was identified as Brianna Lee, 22, and there was a man that was arrested for her murder. So I think we can take that one off the list. So on September 15, 2019, there's a woman's body was found at the intersection of Rinky and Independence Lane. And I can't find an update on that one at all. So if you guys got any information, let me know. And then on August 18th, 2019, the police found a man's body lying in the street near 200 North Clark Street in North Little Rock. Now, the authorities state he suffered from trauma and he was later identified as David Ayala Jr. 44. And I mean, how many people are they going to find laying around on the streets? This is terrible. All right. And then May 7th, 2018, a woman's body was found in Canis Park near Rodney Parham Road in Little Rock, Arkansas. Now, she was identified as Jamie Mitchell and her death was ruled as suspicious. But I haven't been able to find anything out other than that. And NEMA shows seven cases from 77 on, and I narrowed it down for 2015. And guess what? Zero. Yes, zero. 
So either Pulaski County is doing a great job of identifying missing people and there is none or they stopped entering them in a name us around the early 2000s. So after my research online, I'm showing nothing that would point to a serial killer. And I read that Detective Hudson said his department is following up on tips and conducting interviews, but is not going to reveal details about the case, including Stepbox's cause of death in order to avoid jeopardizing the case. And that comes from THV 11 News. So it's the waiting game. Waiting game continues. Whoever killed Abby is still out there. And whoever killed some of these other people is still out there. So that's it. I don't know what's going on, but I don't believe there's any serial killer. And I don't, I think that some more research by the police, or at least a tip, is going to lead to something. Will lead to finding out what happened to Ebby and probably a few other people there in Little Rock, too. So, Ebby has a Facebook page. It's Justice for Ebby. You can find it by going to Facebook and putting that in there to do the search. And I'll, you know what, I'll put a link down below, too, so you guys can click on it and go show your support. And that's it. And that was what I found out. I hope you guys found it interesting.